Everyone told me that money doesn't buy happiness. But when I was broke, I was damn near unhappy. Now money doesn't solve all problems, but it solves a lot. We all want money, but it's just don't let it own you. It doesn't serve you. It's not that you do not have time. It is that you are prioritizing things wrong. Time is what we want the most, but what we use the worst. 45 minutes for your morning routine. Let's make it 30. Why? I can guarantee you, it doesn't matter how much you meditate, a pile of gold is not going to fall on your head. Get to work as soon as possible. I've been doing it recently. It just works. You, you just start your day so much earlier than everyone else because you don't realize that you are dilly-dallying in your morning routines. That's what you guys are doing. You're tolerating your own stuff and then you're wasting time to put what? Into this, which is going to, in five years, do what? Give you what you want from life. 84,600 seconds a day. How you use it will give you the outcome that you want in your life. I just would like to, I'm just going to make a really bold assumption that we're not spending enough time on our money and that's why we're in the position we are today and we want to get into a better position. I'm not saying that you're any of you are broke, but I promise you you're here because you want to make some more money. Make sense? So just give it two, three years. Consistently, by the way. I know some of you are going to like, yeah, I've been a member for four years, but consistently, because success is an accumulation of consistent actions taken over time. Small steps every day is the only thing that has ever created success. It's just time is just not something you got, we're using properly and we're not doing it consistently. Just keep doing it, keep doing it. And you know what Dennis said? When you are in minus, you keep going. Like Dennis said, I do 25 minutes and then I take a break. I do 25 minutes and then I take a break. And that's how he was able to go from four, I think it was $4,000 to over a million dollars. That's how he was able to do it for six years. But it happens if you just give it some time, a bit of patience and consistency. What we did every day over and over and over again shapes how we are financially. Makes sense, doesn't it? But most of us just don't know the information. We don't know what we don't know, right? All right, living within your means, saving regularly, avoiding unnecessary debt. Some of us here have cars we shouldn't have, yeah? That 500 pound car bill a month, you know, 600 pound. I know people, 1,000 pound car bill a month. I'm like, dude, you're on like 40 grand a year. You got 1,000 pounds on a car. I knew a guy that put his watch on credit. I was like, who cares, man? We get a watch on credit. Crazy, unnecessary debt, okay? And investing wisely. Are you noticing the theme here? There's a one word that keeps coming up. People that are, are, are successful financially based on research, understand money and investing because they know that money needs to multiply. It needs to grow. So we need to keep planting the seeds. I look at my bank accounts every single day, every single bank account. I don't care what number it is. I look at it. Why? I want to be present to my money. I want a relationship with money. There is 83 trillion dollars circling the globe right now and we all have our fucking garage doors up shut like this don't come in my home that's what you've got going on who wants some money all right who wants some money boom who wanted to get up but didn't get up you yeah money is available to you yeah it is available it's everywhere you're just not grabbing it